Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. It's been a couple of days, but otherwise I think we are good. We've spoken to Barry, didn't have any room to do the puzzle, so we'll double back and get that done now. And clear this room of all the herbs. Yeah, we'll go in here first. Just so it's out of the way. Yes, give me the first aid spray. Thank you. Looks like someone took something and then left in a hurry. I'm not sure how you could tell that, but sure. You're the detective, not me. Okay, this room should be done. Yes. B puzzle done. Right. Got the hook. Got you. Collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it. No. Cool. Yes, this time we will push the button. I be. Jill, squish it. Make sure it's dead. Come on, Jill. No? Fine. Really? That one bee sting took you down to caution. <sighs> right. Yep. This area is all done for now. We dump most of this off. And then we can go and see Richard. Alright. Rest, don't need you. Right, let's get rid of this lot. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's go see how our, bo our boy Rich is doing. No Rebecca to aid him this time. As much as I would describe this game as like the perfect Resident Evil game, the uh, the flow of the story, the sequence, doesn't make a lot of sense if you take it literally, because the canon story is a mixture of both Chris and Jill. Hey, hey Richard. What happened? You're wounded. This whole place. Is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. Uh, uh, what did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be 
Poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. I think you mean ven me venomous. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. So if this was to get a re-remake in the RE engine, part of me would like to see them canonize the story, like make it like maybe have it as a Chris and Jill campaign, two separate campaigns for Chris and Jill, kind of like the here, but have the stories linked better. But at the same time, I quite like the fact that this the, the overall ending of this of the game doesn't make sense. It's either this is how the story ends if you play as Jill, or this is how the story ends as you play as Chris. Damn it! Are you now dead? No. Shit. How about now? Yes, which means I'm going to have to burn you. <coughs> and plus I also like the multiple endings that you can get with this game. Like if you don't save Rebecca or Jill or Barry or Chris even, if you're playing as Jill, you know, these characters can die. Which is definitely... Uh, a huge disappointment I had with the Resident Evil 3 remake because no multiple endings. Personally, I would have liked to have would would like to have seen <coughs> a separate campaign for Carlos rather than just have playable sections for him. But you know, it, it is what it is. We're not going to we're not going to be seeing another attempt at a remake of Resident Evil 3 for quite some time if they if if they ever do I think, the, I think Resident Evil 4 could very well be the last remake we see which is disappointing because I really wanted to see Code Veronica get a remake I'm not basing that on any insider knowledge or whatever it's just me taking a, a wild guess because remakes are great. I loved the Resident Evil 2 remake. It had issues, but overall, I loved the game overall. Resident Evil 3 remake had a lot of issues. There was a lot wrong with it. But again, I liked it. Didn't love it, I liked it. But it could have and should have been so much more than what it was. All right, Richard. I've got the serum. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Gonna be honest, you might lose your arm. Jill, here's my radio. She knows where a radio is. I'm. <laughs> Does it ever not hurt? Nope. Getting shots always hurts, regardless if a giant snake has taken a chunk out of your arm. Alright, while we're here, damn it, I need the lighter. Alright, let's go back. It's definitely so I keep forgetting about Jill after playing Chris. Chris has a lighter automatically, whereas Jill is an optional item. I keep putting it away thinking I'm done with it. Drop off these items. Should probably top up the kerosene and burn the other zombie before he turns. No. Let's grab that and that. Are you still full? About half a range. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> I will take it.
I mean, I suppose I could leave him. Because all I've got to do is just run around in a big circle to avoid him. But I'd rather not waste too much time running around circles. So hold on, Richard. I'll be back momentarily. I want to burn this bitch before he turns. Audio freaking out there a little bit. Yes. Right, that's him sorted. He's he's not gonna be bothering nobody. I was kind of hoping the Crimson Heads would return for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Whoops. Just for, uh, you know, continuity's sake. But if I remember rightly, the T-Virus here is actually a different variant of the T-Virus that affects, infects Raccoon City. So the zombies don't uh, become Crimson Heads because of that. I could be wrong. Because there's so many different versions of the T virus. You've got the Progenitor, T, T Abyss. You done? Yep. Good. Nothing there. Also good. I could have burnt him for fun, but he disappears, so maybe not. It's too dark to see much else. I think you're just being fussy, Jill, frankly. I can see just fine. Shotty shells. Yes, we remembered. Okay, the lined with wine glasses. And. Come on. We can leave him. He's not going to harm nobody. Yeah, that's right, big fella, this way. And now I can leave. I'm going to make sure that this room is cleared. Let's see. Yep. We are good. Again, I could have burnt him, but no, there's no point. Hey, Richard, you stay strong, buddy. I'm not going to bother bandaging your arm. I, I, I did enough for you. Go do some things yourself. Right. Should probably go and ditch some of this stuff so I've got room to pick up everything else. Why did I come in here? Sorry, I just had a massive brain fart. I don't know why I came back this way. I need to go downstairs. Wow, I am an idiot. But at least I admit I'm an idiot. Right. You there, you there. Uh, 
gonna ditch the shotgun shells. There we go. Not sure why that was the wrong way around. Does it matter? The uh, issue has been resolved. Now let's go play some nice classical music. Is Moonlight Sonata still protected under copyright law? Or is it one of those classical tunes that's now in the in the public domain you, that anyone can just use it now? Like, like Happy Birthday is no longer under copyright law. That's a purely rhetorical question. Don't need to answer it, I could probably look it up myself, but I probably won't. Alright. Grab you. Because unlike with Chris, we don't have to leave Rebecca to practice. We can just play, and then we're good to go. those ink ribbons there we go take it away Jill Beautiful. Nicely done. What exactly was the point of this room? Was it like a secret observatory room? None of the files changed, so we're not going to read them all again. Right, that room all clear. Yes. Big hand through the face, little hand in the chest. Large gear left. Yes, large gear left. No. Six o'clock. There we go. Right. Let's go and change our equipment. Ideally, I'm going to save the grenade launcher for the... Uh, not necessarily the tyrant, because that's what the magnum's going to be for. 
but I'll save the grenade launcher for taking out the spitter and I'll save the flame rounds for taking out the zombies in the lab area right all right Richard I will be with you momentarily I need my shotty gun Thankfully, it's not too far away from him. He'll be fine. Alright. Take these. Put you there, because I don't actually need you. Here we go. Get myself healed up just in case. If you expect the worst, you can never be disappointed unless you're an idiot like me and you haven't saved. There is no auto save feature here. There is no mercy in this dojo. Hey Richard. Bye Richard. Oh, you're still here. Maybe I should have burnt you after all. Shorty shells, thank you. Hello again. Time. Hey Richard. See, told you you could bandage your own arm. And he was dead forever. Thanks. Bye, Richard. Richard! You cannot still be hungry after that. Oh, you bastard. Oh, so very nearly made it out without being poisoned. You absolute asshat. Oh, uh, I shall take Richard's shotgun to remember him by. No, not use. Oh, no, come on. There we go. Without a nose, then how does he smell? Badly. Lol. Well, we're going to have to take the long way to the safe point so we can cure ourselves of the poison. Yeah. I need serum. Yes, you do. So come on, put yourself together. You're a member of stars, damn it. I know where it is. 
Don't you patronise me, game. <sighs> Come on. I'm not having you being a pain in my ass. There we go. Alas, pure Richard, poor Richard. We hardly knew him. And he gets no manner of luck at all, bless him. Be it Chris or Jill, he is doomed to die. Death by shark or death by snake. Yes, this area is clear. Good. And here we are. Safe. Take those. Take these back. Or should I? No, actually, I should not because we are dealing with what's his face next. So I'll take the assault shotgun. There we go, and we'll grab a green herb, so everything is tickety-boo. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil, and I will catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>